people. Uh, I've got a little bit of a cold. That's why I've got a pretty raspy voice. Uh, today is Tuesday, December something. Uh, 11th. 11th, you know. Uh, it's actually kind of cold, which is why I'm wearing... This is my beloved deceased mother's sweater. Uh, she's been gone five years this December. Uh, and I'm wearing it because I'm cold, but uh, okay, I, I, we're in Fort Lauderdale, it shouldn't be cold, but I digress. Anyway, I've got some news. So, our 15 year old dog is not doing well at all. Uh, it started to decline actually after, I want to say it's after we moved on the boat. I don't know, it's not, I think it's coincidental, honestly, because he's 15 years old. He's got um, significant problems with his eyes, and he lost his vision. <clears throat> he actually pulled up, pulled up with blood in his left eye um, earlier in the year. And we brought him to the vet, and we did a whole bunch of stuff, ran tests, got medication, and it cleared up, and everything was actually pretty good, and he was doing pretty well. Turns out he had high blood pressure, and the high blood pressure caused a lot of damage on his internal organs and on his eye. So, um, we, were kind of, we were very, very hopeful that things would go okay with taking him on this adventure with us. But he's now taking a turn for the worse. So, uh, here he is. He's our little guy. And this is pretty much where he spends his days. In his little bed. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh. Say hello. Oh. He's completely uncomfortable. Yesterday, Eric noticed. <clears throat> put you in the video too. Eric noticed that Sparky was no longer um, walking around and with the ability to at least see something. Yeah. And <clears throat> not walking. He had one eye that was that was kind of working a little bit, and then yeah. he started walking and stuff. So he's just kind of gone totally blind. And what I noticed when I came back to the boat yesterday, I was I was working at the marina, <clears throat> um, from their office that is. <laughs> you work at a marina? <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm a new dog hand. <laughs> um, was that he was basically walking in circles. He would, uh, yeah, I I'd pick him up and I'd put him down on the deck and he would just walk in in a circle. And bicycle, I mean, like tail to when he would take nose. off, when he would actually deviate from the circle, he would actually walk into yeah. cabinets and things on the boat, just anything. So, we are less than a week away from going to the Bahamas, and um, I, I called our vet, well, the vet that we uh interviewed and, and chose for the health certificate here. And I said, I don't kind of know what to do. I want to make, I need to make this appointment. We're planning to set out on Saturday and yeah. he's not doing well. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but I need him really looked at because if he's in pain, I, I can't run the risk of taking him to the Bahamas yeah, and then don't. not knowing how we treat him and make sure that he's got comfort. Yeah. He had blood in the stool today. Yeah. That was, so yeah, that's... that was the next thing. I, uh, so I, he, I told my mom, I, I, I kind Oh, before of, you go on to about telling your mom, let me just explain this blood in the stool. So before we left Hampton, Virginia, um, had a checkup with our doctor, and we've actually been seeing uh, Dr. Gooding for a long time, and he pointed Sparky out, has, yeah. Well, yeah, we've been seeing, <laughs> we've been taking Sparky to uh, Dr. Gooding, and he told us, um, you know, he's got big problems with both his kidney and his liver. We've, you know, ran all kinds of blood work. And he was in starting to come into failure. And so I, I think the blood in the stool has a lot to do with his lower intestine no longer being able to, you know, perform the way it needs to, to give him the nutrients he needs. And today's Tuesday and we're not actually going to the doctor until Friday. And I'm actually very worried about the next three days. I wanted that buffer to make sure that we get as much time spoiling the shit out of this dog. In fact, Eric gave the dog four freaking doggy cookies today. Cookies, four like, like cookies. Oreo kind of cookies. <laughs> yeah, like doggy cookies Oreo that we'd cookies. probably eat because they're probably good. <laughs> Chocolate uh, ones, too. Anyway, so you were saying something about your mom. Oh, I was telling mom that I, I kind of... I, 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 I wanted him to go on this trip, and I said, I, I, 
think it might have been more selfish of me wanting him to go on this trip. <clears throat> but, I mean, I don't want to let him go. Nobody does, but nobody wants to do that. I just... I was, we I was hoping. Time, we thought his time was near last I thought, year, too. Yeah, last year, I, I thought it, yeah. he was... He's held on quite a long time. I, I actually thought he would make it to 17. I mean, I just... I had this feeling and, you know, this whole thing and my guess. I guess maybe that's what it is, but... He, so Spartacus was born I, on I March 21st, 2003. And I bought him. Um, six weeks later, I've had him my his whole life. He's he's my little he's my little guy. So the decision that we make is not easy. Um, anyone who has a pet knows exactly what we're going through. I think what's really hard is trying to make this decision, and I feel in some ways uh, pressured to make the decision before we set sail off to the Bahamas. But in other ways, with the blood in the urine and the fact that he can no longer see any, he's walking into everything in the salon. He's getting no joy out of his life. He is quality of life. He's gone. He's been trying to tell us that his quality of life isn't there for the last three sales. He's been stressed out on every sale for the last three months. So anyway, that's our update. It's our little guy. I love him. No, I baby. I know I mean. I know. Mommy loves you. bit of a bittersweet day today bittersweet there's no sweet about it a bitter day um yeah there is sweet we got here to harbor town that's a nice place to be full service marina i mean you can get anything done under the sun here um if 
you want it on a boat, they'll put it on it. But we just got back from the vet and uh, we, we had to put Sparky down. And he's not gonna make this trip with us. And that's, I don't like that, but it is what it is. Um, and now I need to find where I'm going. So I'm gonna go over here to the dock master and we're gonna talk to them. I'm a little confused, I'm a little out of it, out of sorts. But at some point I've got to get my head back in the game. I've got four days, three days to get solar put on and I've got to finish the water maker and the drive generator and all that stuff. So, 